Yeah guys, welcome to the show. I'm showing this video <clears throat> because I want there to be no doubt. It's entitled My Testimony by Mr. Wood. He writes, what's up Supreme? First off, I would like to thank you for opening my eyes to the game. I used to sell my soul for a piece of ass, but not anymore. And that's what I'm trying to teach guys how to do, which is keep their power in the dating game. And this is something that's not really known by, I guess, all the other gurus out there, except maybe uh, Tyreek. Or the pimp gurus out there, okay? But all the other dating coaches out there, they're not obviously not aware of this. He goes, now I keep all my power. I have fucked multiple women at the same time. But I have found that I enjoy relationships more. That's what he wanted to say. He writes, uh, but I found that enjoy relationship more. He wants to say, I enjoy relationships more. However, if I was to break up with my girlfriend, I know that I would be getting laid within a week. And that is what I want. This is the uber relationship or end result of what I'm teaching. For the guy to have fun in the game for a while, then settle down with one that he chooses. Okay, he chooses. Obviously, you know, one of his girls that he chooses to be with. But if he knows that if, if she acts up, he can get rid of her and have her replaced within a week. That is real power, fellas. Imagine that. I just looked at, um, uh, someone posted a Twitter on my uh, forum of a young African-American male who just killed himself over a woman. And uh, she went by the name of, like, Honey Cocaine. And I can't remember what the kid's name was. He li actually lives in my hometown of Seattle, Washington. Uh, in the Renton area. If he had this power that Mr. Wood has, he would have replaced her. And the girl's a beautiful girl. And he was, you know, an attractive young male. You know, good looking people tend to find each other. In the African American community, uh, you'll see actually light skinned uh, sisters will go for actually darker skinned brothers, though. That's where darker skinned brothers have a leg up with uh, the uh, biracial women or uh, really girls who are really light skinned. They will sometimes choose a darker skinned male, especially the biracial ones, okay? It kind of ties them into their blackness. Some of them have issues, I've learned. So, not all, but some. Again, he goes, um, I thought th that share, the, he may want to say, I thought to share the story with you to prove to your listeners of what you keep saying. I need to highlight that so you guys can see it. Right here. And excuse the poor grammar. Okay. Read it for yourself. I am currently in Knoxville on a road trip with my girlfriend to celebrate my birthday. We were at a restaurant and the police arrested a guy for ho-chasing a girl there. Holy shit. Yes, the guy was black and she was white. Damn. Okay. This is from one of... God damn. This is from one of the uh, listeners or viewers. He saw a black guy get arrested for fucking with a white chick. Now, I'm not saying don't fuck with white chicks. He should have known when to back down. That's the point. You got to know when to back down. Okay. Arrested a guy for ho-chasing a girl there. Yes, the guy was black and she was white. And for the white viewers, I am white and pretty good looking and had... Horrible results from cold approaching. It's amazing. My girlfriend is twenty is a twin is twenty six year old Chinese girl who is pretty damn cute and wealthy. I just turned twenty two, and she treats me like a king. That is what I teach. So you have all the power. Okay, do you guys get it? He has all the power now. When people ask me how I got her, I tell them she chose me. I met her at a career seminar. She was making eye contact with me. And she had mentioned that uh, and she had mentioned that she was from China during the seminar. Afterwards, I asked her what city she was from in China and told her about my adopted Chinese sister. I got her number, met her for coffee. As I teach to do, you get the number, you go to coffee, got her life story, 
and then invite her to my house. I remember when he did this too, to seal the deal. No tap dancing or scripting needed. Okay, as I teach you, get her number, meet her for coffee, he got a life story, then invite her to your house. Oh God, this is so beautiful. This is what I'm talking about, fellas. Later, she told me that she could tell that I was already getting laid on a regular basis. And I told you women can tell that. They, they get a feeling about you. Many do. When I say women, I don't mean all, okay? I don't want some girl right now, what I can't tell. Uh, there's, there, there are girls that can't tell when guys are gay either. All right. She also said that she fucking hates being ho-chased and listening to some canned bullshit. I hope people hear my experience and listen to your listen to your advice, Supreme. Thanks so much. And congratulations on uh, settling down and finding a good girl, a good woman to settle down with. Okay, she's 26, he's 22. All right, she's got money, fellas. All right, he's keeping the power in his game. He's doing it the right way. And what did he do? Eye contact. Then he manned up and stepped over. Like a man. He didn't bother, bother ho chasing her and wasting his time. But she was probably already attracted to him anyway. If he had of, he would have gotten, you know, he, he would have gotten laid. Okay? But he didn't wait, he did it the right way, and he gets to keep all the power now. Alright? So, in defense of, of what I'm teaching here, he did it the right way in order to keep all the power to get all the power, all right? And he also knows that he can replace her. When you hold chase, it's all about desperation. Oh, I gotta have that girl so fine, I gotta have her. I gotta fuck her, I need her. You know, that's your that's your monkey jumping out. And you act like a monkey, running around, chitter chattering, throwing shit, all right? Instead of being like a man. And look what happened. Again, look what happened, fellas. Need I say any more? Let, let them keep coming in. You guys keep telling me your experiences. I already talked about the guy that did my seven steps back in June. He slept with 42 women since then. He took my shit and ran with it. Like, like a powerhouse. All right? And look at this brother here. Living his life like a goddamn king. And witnessed a dude getting arrested for bothering a chick. Wow. That's pretty fucked up. I gotta say that. Shit's getting fucked up out there. God damn it. Let's keep it pimping. 